यूजर पे डैशबोर्ड एंड गो टू ए पी आई कीज एंड प्लग इन ऑप्शन सिलेक्ट द वेबसाइट प्लेटफॉर्म एज नन ऑफ द अबव एंड जनरेट योर रेजर पे कीज विल हैव योर की आई डी एंड की सीक्रेट नाउ ओपन बॉट बिल्डर एंड द ऑटोमेशन बिल्डर इन सेपरेट टैब्स नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ वीडियो ऑन वंस यू रिसीव अ न्यू ऑर्डर इन योर व्हाट्सएप नेटिव कैटलॉग यू कैन सेंड अ कन्फर्मेशन मैसेज टू द यूजर आज दम द पेमेंट मेथड और कलेक्ट देर एड्रेस and once you have you know received the intent from the user that they want to pay via online payment then you can first send them a text message that kindly wait while we generate a payment link because it might take a few seconds for the link to get generated and then it is being sent back to the user now in case of razor pay specifically it might be varying for different payment gateways now in case of razor pay specifically you need to add a multiply step why do you need to mul add the multiply step because razor pay is going to accept the amount in the api in multiplies of 100 that is if you want to charge user 10 rupees it actually accepts 1000 paisa so you need to multiply your rupees amount by 100 and then send it to the user or sorry send it to the razor pay api to generate the payment link so Here in the next step, I am clicking on Add Automation App. The multiply action is available in the Calculator app. I need to select the multiply option. Now in the first number, I am entering the option of order total, which is to be multiplied by hundred. To get a test value or a dummy value, first I'll enter the number as ten. considering it as my order total and then i'll click on run and save so the bot has a test value of 1000 with it so we have the test value of 1000 here and now i'll replace the first number with the order total and i'll simply click on save i won't click run and save now now in case of bot you need to save the output to a custom field so either you need to have the custom field pre created or a bot field pre created or you can save the workflow and then create it now i have already created few extra custom fields so right now i am saving the order total multiplied by 100 in the custom field called as custom field and here in the output i'll simply select the option as answer and save so now when the user clicks on online payment we first send them a message that your payment link is getting generated we multiplied the value by 100 the order total and we have saved the output in a custom field now in the next step we are going to add the app of razor pay to generate the payment link sorry i need to search razor pay here we have multiple actions we need to select the option of create payment link now click on create new authentication add a name to it add the key id and the key secret from razor pay select the authentication after creation in the amount i am not entering the amount of order total rather i have saved the value multiplied by 100 in the custom field so i am entering that the currency can be the order currency or if you are only dealing in one currency inr you can update it the description you can enter as order number and then for the test i am simply so let me first update all the values with test data so the name of the customer can be test name the email can be test at test.com contact number again can be some dummy number and the link might expire in 15 minutes and can the customer make partial payments false now what is callback url so callback url is actually the url 
where razor pay will inform us whether the payment was approved or rejected or failed so that information we need to get in our automations builder so i ask you to open the automations builder in a new tab you need to create a workflow in it it will be a complete blank page for you you'll see a plus icon click on it select the app as webhook enter a webhook title you'll receive a webhook url so if you click on it it will get copied click on capture incoming webhook so this is basically used to get sample data from in the webhook so i'm first pasting the webhook url or or the callback url here now after this i also need to know what is the order id for which the customer paid so i have entered question mark order id equals to and here i have selected the option of e-commerce and then id and i also need the customer phone number so i'm simply writing number equals to the waba is basically the customer's mobile number so the url looks something like this the webhook from here question mark order equals to i'm getting the order order id equals to i'm getting the order id from here and waba or the phone number basically of the customer equals to waba now we'll click on run and save because we have all the sample data here so we'll get an actual razor pay link which we can check out here so if we see the response we have the razor pay link here now we'll update the values to actual values so the amount is basically in the custom field variable the currency is in the currency variable the order number you have the order id or order number you can utilize any the name of the customer is the name the email of the customer you can ask the customer and then add it to a custom field because i didn't i haven't asked it in the earlier blocks i am simply entering test and the contact number can be waba and the webhook will still be same because we have already got the information here as the variables we have entered it but for you know test purposes you can surely even utilize number before generating the link but for now it is correct because we have already mapped the variables and this time i am not going to click run and save rather i'll simply click on save because i have already created the test payment link now first i'll save the payment link in a variable so to make this bot work properly you require two custom fields one is the final amount which is multiplied by 100 and second is the razor pay payment link so you can create that before actually working on the bot now again in the custom field i'll i can utilize any of the existing custom fields as well but for now let me use this mysore payment message custom field and in the text i am actually saving the short url which i have got from razor pay i am also copying this and clicking on save so basically the link is generated and the link is saved now in the next step i am sending this as a message to the user so we can utilize the send text message block but i mean this previous step was created by team way earlier let us utilize the ask a question block here we have a new option of cta url button so the url will be a clickable link here so kindly pay by clicking below button button label will be pay now and the url will be this particular bot field or custom field custom fields are visible here in the crm section and bot fields are visible here in my case it will be this particular variable i think it is not mapping here no issues i'll i'll type it manually one second let me yeah so i type this here manually it will get replaced now the answer will be single reply answer we cannot save the response here because the response will actually go to this particular automation in the automations builder 
now you need to decide for how long do you want to wait for the user to pay let us consider five minutes after five minutes we'll make the further flow but first let us do the test payment via the razor pay so i'm copying this razor pay link clicking on save workflow for backup and then in a new tab i am opening this payment link now before actually paying on the link you need to first check whether this webhook is actually waiting to receive data so here you can enter the number and complete the payment once the payment has been done this particular automation will receive the data and you can see that we now have the whatsapp number of the user it doesn't show anything in the number and the order id because we did not pass any actual values but while running the bot it would work fine so we have the whatsapp number of the user we have the order id we and we have the information about the razor pay payment now first we'll click on save and in the next step we can add a router in the test team didn't do it but let us do it in the router first we'll see that the, if the payment is paid so if the razor pay payment link status is paid and the second option is might have got failed for any reason failed is not paid now if it is paid let me save the workflow once now if it is paid i'll go i'll add an e-commerce action here to update the order field so update an order field wherein i am updating the payment status for the order so let me click on this refresh icon and get the fields so the payment status and in the order id we'll map this order id value which will be the actual order id which we get during the bot and in the value we'll update it as paid you can also write paid by razor pay for your reference and then it is not necessary to do run and save it can be simply save and then in the next step you're sending a template message to the user it can also be a session message because the user is in the session so let us send him a session message without any approval in the whatsapp number field we will have the number option that is the variable VABA we don't need to enter any country code because the VABA already has the country code predefined. Now in the same way, we can simply copy this, sorry not copy this, rather we need to click on plus again send crm send text message in the session option and because the payment is failed here we'll notify the user that your payment has failed updated the automation here ensure to save the workflow and enable the workflow now after this go to the bot builder now what team created here was they were checking if the payment is completed after five minutes so they were sending the confirmation here and if the payment was failed they you know informed the user that we have not received the payment but we have already sent the success message here if the payment is failed and we've also sent a failed message so let us do one thing if the payment is failed or not done till five within five minutes 
let us add an basic router here and we will not send the payment success message now in this router we are only checking if the payment is failed how do we check it the variable would be in the e-commerce order payment status because if the payment is getting paid we are actually updating this field so if the payment status is not paid in the next step we are sending the message this message to the user we have not received full payment for your order and then you can also ask them a question interactive message would you like to retry payment yes or no yes and no if the user says no you can simply send a thank you message but if he or she says yes you can directly take the block send the block go to to block number 12 so this process would continue again or repeat again so we'll add a go to here and we'll select the step as 12th number so if someone clicks that they want to retry the payment the bot will go to the step number 12 send them a message kindly wait while we generate a payment link multiply save it to custom field create the payment link again save it to custom field and then send the block again to the user and wait for five minutes so this is how you can generate a payment link via razor pay send it to user and using the automation builder update the payment status of the particular order received via whatsapp native catalogs thank you Rem always remember to save the workflow and enable the workflow.